One Billion Rising is the biggest mass action to end violence against women in human history. One in three women. One in three women. One in three women across the planet will be raped or beaten during her lifetime. Whether it's to a stranger, to a friend, to a family member, or to a spouse, just nobody has the right to touch your body except for you. I remember being in my early 20s and hanging out with a bunch of my girlfriends one night and there was about 10 of us and our stories started coming out and we discovered that we weren't one in three, we were 10 in 10. Every single one of us had a story to tell. A year ago I got to participate in One Billion Rising in India. And now I go across the globe and I'm here in America participating in it again. This is personal. I am one in three and this movement helps me feel like more than just a statistic. It's still mind-blowing to me that in our culture and cultures around the world that have developed and progressed so much that we still put so much shame on women. For me, I am a secondary survivor. Um, more than one of my close friends um, has experienced sexual su assault, so it's a very personal topic for me. It's the fourth year of One Billion Rising as a global movement, and we've participated every single year in particular because there is so much emphasis on the importance of the body in action. You know, I'm, I'm pregnant, I'm gonna have, bring a child into this world in just a few weeks. I'm like, what is this world that I'm bringing this kid into? If I'm having a girl, she has a one in three chance of being beaten or raped in her lifetime. So One Billion Rising for me is the process for me to find my voice and raise my voice for myself and for women. Dance movement therapy is a form of creative arts therapy that uses the body as the vehicle for assessment and intervention and to be able to build a therapeutic relationship. I was always looking for some way for dance to heal and come to my rescue because when dance, when I was dancing, I felt everything was possible. I was free from the shackles of my mind. It's not just up to women, but we need all of the men on this planet to, to become aware and to stand up and to say enough is enough. You are not what happened to you, you are who you choose to become.